Welcome back guys, it's Correcty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Onalaska Fire Department Truck 1. And Onalaska is a city in La Crosse County, Wisconsin. And uh, this is a 2021 Pierce Impel PUC Ascended 170 foot heavy duty aerial ladder truck. And uh, it's actually commissioned by Railfan Lily, so thanks to him for making this video possible. He is a volunteer firefighter, and here is a picture of him next to his truck. And he says he's going to go full-time next year. Um, so yeah, thanks again for making this video possible. And if you guys are interested in commissioning builds for yourself, check out the link in the description. So let's go take a look at this build. Here we have the yellow and red stripes in the front, a little bumper plate. This says on Alaska, and this is supposed to be like the American flag right there. And then we have the aerial ladder. We have like this little fire hose sticking out right there. And uh, there's the top of the apparatus and the sides. We've got some red stripes and some banners for some panels. And this is like where I believe they put like pumps or hoses through um, there. And then this part, it actually comes out. Um, it's like, like the stabilizers. And here's the back. We have a ladder on this side, no ladder on the other side. So just the stripe. Here's a back side, and then I believe this says T1 in black. And here's what it looks like on this side. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the build, and let's get started. So first off, let's grab some materials. I'm going to take out Edstone Brick Slab, Mangrove Slab, Polish Andesite Stairs, Black Concrete, Mangrove Sign, Polish Andesite, Polish Blackstone Brick Slab, and Wall. A smooth stone slab and that's all we can fit in our hot bar so first off we're going to add in end stone slab two blocks above the ground and then a mangrove slab and then another end stone slab and then a polish and a side stairs then we're going to add to the side we're going to add black concrete and then a mangrove sign and then in the inside of this uh, this is going to be actually uh, brick blocks two blocks wide like that. All right, and then we'll add in our polish and site block there. And then black concrete two blocks long. Polish black stone brick block here, slab on top, wall behind it, and a slab on the inside part like that. Then we'll add in another slab over here and a smooth stone slab underneath that. Then we're going to add in three polish and site blocks right there, two blocks wide and a site wall. And then upside down red nether brick stairs right there. Polish black stone brick slab here. And then underneath it's going to be a smooth stone slab right there. Then we're going to go to the front. And we're going to add in a polish and site slab here. Red concrete. And we are going to make this extend all the way to this first and site wall. Cross like that. And then skip two blocks in the front, add another red concrete. Skip two, add another one here in the back. Then we're going to add in a brick wall over here. Polish andesite slab on top. And then this um, front area, we'll add in um, black glass panes two blocks wide right there. An iron bar to the side of it. And then black concrete. And we're going to make this extend all the way to the rear window like that. And then on top of this, we're going to add in a red nether brick slab, and then a mangrove slab in the back, and in another one in the front. Then we'll add in a nether brick wall here, red carpet on top, daylight detector in the front of that, make that blue. And then item frame here with a white bed, and we're going to rotate it so the head of the bed's facing inwards, like that. Then we're going to add in an iron bar here, stone button above it. And then oak button in the front, and another oak button here in the back, like that. Then we'll add in smooth stone block. I'm going to make that two blocks tall here. And down here we'll add in three smooth stone blocks. And make it two blocks tall like this. And then we'll add in smooth stone slab. I'm going to add three blocks long here. I'm going to add in a red banner. Place one right there. Then we're going to add in a mangrove fence right here. And then upside down polished blackstone brick stairs right there. Another polished blackstone brick slab behind it. And on the bottom of this, make it go across like that. And another one on the inside of this. Then we're going to have like this alternating pattern 
of deep slate brick slab. So one here and then polished blackstone brick slab. There, deep slate brick slab again, and then alternate again. And alternate. So it's gonna end up with three of these deep slate brick slabs, and in the back it's gonna be different per side. So I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Then we'll add in this um, andesite stairs. It's gonna be right alongside that polished blackstone brick slab. And then a uh, polished andesite right next to it. Then we're gonna add in black concrete five blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, like that. And then we'll add in a polished blackstone brick block here, slab on top. And then upside down red nether brick stairs here, polished blackstone brick wall here, and also another polished blackstone brick slab on the inside of the axle. Then we'll add in two blocks long, smooth stone blocks right there. And then we'll add in smooth stone blocks on the inside of this wall, all the way across, just like that. Then we'll go in the front, we'll add in a uh, polished blackstone uh, brick uh, stairs, gotta line up with this slab here. And we're gonna extend it so it meets up with the daylight detector in the front. Then we'll add in an upside down one here, and then a mangrove fence gate and a mangrove trap door on top and then polish blackstone brick slab on top of that. And then we are going to extend it so it reaches one block, like at the end where we have that stairs right there. So let me try to extend it right where we have the stairs. So it lines up there. And then underneath that, it's going to be um, this polished blackstone brick stairs going dangly towards the back, facing the back like that, and then three and then three stairs facing the front, one, two, three, just like that. Then the inside will add in a brick block here, a polished andesite block right there, and then red concrete, and then a red nether brick stairs facing inwards, and then red concrete two blocks long, and then a smooth stone slab right there, and a red nether brick stairs right there. Then we'll add an upside down polished blackstone brick stairs right there. And then a polished blackstone brick wall right behind it. Then we're gonna add an end rod on top of this, a birch fence on top of that. Another end rod face in the back here, a birch fence right there, and then an end rod so it sticks up underneath that fence. And then there's going to be um, stone buttons on the sides of the wheel like this. And then it's going to be a birch button right inside this polished andesite block. And then we're going to add in two nether brick uh, fences on a diagonal. Like this. Polish um, diorite slab right there. Then we're going to add in iron trap door. I'm going to make that three blocks long here. And make it go across to the middle part. Also add in a polished blackstone. And then we'll go in the front of this wheel and add in uh, this cobbled deep slate slab, iron trap door, dark oak trap door, three iron trap doors, just like that. And, and then we'll go down underneath and we'll add in polished andesite slab, four blocks long here. So one, two, three, four, like that. Then we're gonna add in a blackstone bun to the side of this and a red carpet on top of this. All right, All right. next we're gonna make this banner. So go inside the loom, add in a red banner with light gray dye, make a left hand column, put it back inside and add in a red dye a bar going across the top row. And we're gonna place that in the back cap right over here. All right, place it like that. All right, so after we do it, we're to copy everything that we did except for this front bumper and we'll build it the other way around right here. All right, so after we have done both sides, it should look like this. Then I'm gonna add in an oak plank here, red concrete on the inside like that. And then there's gonna be a dark oak trapdoor here and a mangrove trapdoor sticking out like so. All right, then over here on this side, we're gonna add in a mangrove slab here, and then three oak slabs, then mangrove slab, and then on the other side, it's gonna be a polished blocks and brick slabs all the way across. 
Then we're going to add in a mangrove sign here, two oak signs, another uh, mangrove sign. The other side, we're going to add in two oak signs like that, and then uh, two mangrove signs just like so. Then we'll add in another smooth stone slab right there. And then we'll go to the back and we're going to add in sponge, make a V shape here. Red concrete here, another red concrete on this side. Smooth stone block here. And then two upside down, polish inside stairs. And then mango signs in the top corners. Then on top is going to be a skeleton skull facing towards the front. We want to make it straight. Make sure these things are connected. And then we want to add in a mangrove button here. Two blackstone buttons here, strip wire hook, and then item frames on sides with an orange bed inside of it. Like that. Alright, then we're going to go on top here, add in a polished blackstone brick slab, stairs next to that. And then polished blackstone brick wall, make that two blocks tall here. One, two. Add a light gray carpet right there. The other side, we're going to add in light gray carpet here. And then we'll add in two blocks wide, mangrove slabs like that. And then we'll go in the front part on this side and add in two blocks wide of mangrove signs. Just like that. Alright, next we'll add in two blocks wide of birch fence gates right here. Open them up. Go on the other side. And we'll add in another polished black stone brick. I mean polished anisite slab underneath right there. Alright, so now I'm going to make this banner. So go inside the loom again. Red banner and black dye. We want that on the top row. Put it back inside. Red dye. We want these dragon tooths at the top of it. Put it back inside. And then we'll add in light gray dye. And we'll make the right hand side of it. Like that. So it should look like this. And we're going to place that on the opposite corner. Right there. And also on this side, we're going to add in a birch fence gate right underneath there. And then we'll open it up towards the outside. It's going to be the wheel chucks. That. And yeah, I believe that's pretty much it on how to build the On Alaska Fire Truck number one in Minecraft. Thanks again to Railfan Lily for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If you guys want to commission builds for yourself, check out the link in the description. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.